Kia will launch 14 EVs by 2027 and Hyundai Genesis will arrive six new models before 2030. The Korean automakers have announced plans for the next eight years, with a slew of new electric models and expansion into new markets. Hyundai says it will launch 11 new electric models by 2030, including a model in a new vehicle segment that it doesn't currently compete in, we don't know which segment that is yet. One second, before we start the video, kindly subscribe to this channel. That will motivate us to make more videos like this. Your support is very important for us. Only, you can help us to reach the next milestone. Now, let's get started. Genesis will gain six new models by 2030, two passenger cars and four SUVs. Kia will sell 14 EVs by 2027 with plans for two electric pickup trucks, although not all of these new EVs from Hyundai and Kia are destined to reach the U.S. market. Sales of the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Kia EV6, the first dedicated ground-up electric vehicles from the two Korean automakers, are underway, but the snazzy new models are just the beginning. This week, Hyundai and Kia announced updated plans for the coming decade, including a slew of electric vehicles in new market segments. By 2030, Hyundai will launch 11 new EVs, three sedans, six SUVs, and a light commercial vehicle. Hyundai also says there will be one new type model, but didn't go into specifics, this could be anything from an electric version of the Santa Cruz pickup to a tiny electric pod like the Renault Twizy. One of the sedans will be the Ionic 6, which will take inspiration from the Prophecy concept and go on sale this year, while one of the SUVs will be the production version of the Ionic 7 concept, reaching showrooms in 2024. These are presumably global plans, so the timing and model lineup for the US is likely to be different. Hyundai's luxury arm Genesis will add six new models in the next eight years, two passenger cars, with Genesis not specifying that these will be sedans, and four SUVs. The first SUV will be the electrified GV70 launching this year, and starting in 2025, every new Genesis will be electrified. Kia meanwhile will release two EVs a year as it completes a lineup of 14 electric vehicles by 2027. There will be two electric pickup trucks, Kia describes one as a dedicated EV pickup and one as a strategic model for emerging markets, meaning the latter likely won't reach American shores. Kia will also launch an entry-level EV, while the EV9, previewed by a concept last year, is still set for a 2023 introduction. The EV9 will be the first Kia to be equipped with the company's Automode Autonomous Driving System, which Kia says will be available on all new models launched in major markets by 2026. After the 576 horsepower EV6 GT, Kia plans to expand the high-performance GT lineup to all models of its upcoming electric lineup. Kia also aims to become a market leader in purpose-built vehicles, starting with a model called the Nero Plus later this year. Based on the new generation of the Nero SUV, the Plus will be optimized for taxi and ride-hailing services. In 2025, Kia says it will launch its first dedicated purpose-built vehicle riding on a skateboard EV platform, described as medium-sized, before expanding the lineup to all sizes for vehicles, which can act as an alternative to public transportation or even be used as mobile offices. Hyundai says it is targeting global EV sales of nearly 1.9 million units annually by 2030 and a 7% market share for EVs. Kia says it is aiming for sales of 1.2 million EVs in 2030 and predicts 80% of its EV sales will come from Korea, China, Europe, and North America, with EVs representing a 45% share of Kia sales in these regions. Hyundai also says it will create an integrated modular architecture as an evolution of the eGMP platform underpinning the Ionic 5, EV6, and Genesis GV60, which will standardize the battery systems and motors along with the chassis for future EVs. What do you think about this? Let me know this by commenting below. I would love to see them. I can go through your comments and share my feedback. Thanks for watching this video completely. 
Kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Thanks again, have a great day.